It's been a while, but we are back with some new ingredients and some new recipes. But before I jump into the dish I'm making today, I need some feedback from y'all, okay? I've been making all these dishes. They were really great. I got a lot of feedback from some people, but I need more energy, more feedback. What do you want to see me make? What are you having troubles with? What do you have questions with? Any styles or anything? Let me know. Put it on the bottom of the page in the comments or send me a message. Whatever you got to do, I want to be there for you, all right? So today we start with a chicken margarita. It's a classic dish like margarita pizza, except I'm making this kind of keto friendly and also like an after workout friendly thing. I'm gonna slice this bad boy, one chicken breast, I'm gonna slice it in half, I'm gonna butterfly it, okay? Which means you're gonna just make it like a butterfly. Just like that. You wanna open it up just a little bit. You wanna get it all the way open as possible, so sliver a little more. Just like that, nice butterfly there. The rest of that breast to the side. If you want another one, go ahead and make that happen for you. This next step, super simple, about half a teaspoon of salt. Sprinkle it right on there. Just like that. There you go. And really quick, while I'm seasoning this chicken and got it going, get a seal in the back right there with a nice medium high heat. And that's it for now, get that nice and hot first. Gonna give it a nice color for this chicken. We're pretty much just gonna cook this skillet style. Fresh cracked pepper on there, a nice crunch, all right? Put that baby over like that. Bam, let's keep it going. Add a little more salt to her. There we go. Top her off with some more pepper. As I mentioned, that skillet's in the back at a medium high heat. I'm using a cast iron skillet because it gets more color evenly distributed. But if you have a little skillet, use what you got, all right? So I got a tablespoon of oil right here. I'm gonna dip right in that skillet. Go. Get that oil all around. This is about that much oil, guys. Get it nice and coated, okay? Wanna hear a nice sear, I'm gonna put that on there. But I like to start inside out first, so the inside down first, okay? And honestly, this is a super quick dish. Like, I love it because chicken breast cooks so fast, especially when you're butterfly like this. If you're like in the middle of doing something or you want to eat quick and you don't have time for all that, like I said, all these dishes are $15 or less and they don't take that much time to do it either. Less effort. So it's going to take roughly, I would say like five minutes on each side and uh, yeah, about five minutes each side. This entree has like four ingredients to it, okay? Shredded cheese, pizza sauce, a marinara. I made my own, I can break that down for you also. And then like four leaves of basil. That's literally it. There's nothing else you need for this recipe. Goya, I love Goya. She's cheap and she's actually really good. One can of tomato sauce, cook that down with like a tablespoon of vinegar. Salt, pepper, oregano, garlic powder, all those good things like that. No exact correlation to a recipe, just taste it and see if you like it. Or you can buy it fresh made in the, uh, in the stores. That's right here, so buy a cup of that. You have a cup of shredded Parmesan, I'm sorry, shredded mozzarella, mozzarella cheese. That's it. So I got a few more minutes going on that skillet. I'm gonna flip it in the next three minutes and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute, all right guys? Amazing little guys right here, okay? And you can check to see if it's done or not. So we need this to be 165 and up to be completely done, all right? So I'm putting the thickest part towards the center, just like that. Let's see what we got. We have 168, that means we're set to keep moving forward, all right? Well, let's see, sorry, 165. So much to 165, Take that guy off. All right, it's all set. 
Next thing you know, we're gonna move this guy back to the countertop and finish working with him, all right? As I mentioned, this dish is called chicken margarita. So instead of using a uh, pizza dough or any carb or anything extra like that, this is the actual base for the chicken, I mean, for the, the quote unquote pizza itself, okay? So I'm gonna flip back over to the inside, just like that. I'm gonna take some pizza sauce or marinara sauce, whatever you got. Brush it on just like that. This, this is quick, guys. Like, it took 10 minutes to cook. 10 minutes to cook. It's gonna go in a broiler for like maybe two minutes. So you're looking at a 12 minute dish. And you can make so many of them at one time without having to stress and worry about anything. I like saucy. Get saucy in there. You know, pop that in there like that. To the side, just make some cheese on there. You may not need all of this, but you know what? If you wanna go crazy, like I always say, go crazy. Super keto friendly, gluten free. I mean, you can use uh, dairy free cheese if you wanted to, if you had any dairy allergies. But it accommodates most diets and it's great for like post workouts. Right, just like that. I'm gonna pile some of these guys in the fridge. I mean, let's add some cherry tomatoes in there too, right now, right? I'm gonna slice those bad boys in half. Upside down like that. They're gonna broil and shrivel up and get all caramelized on top, and that's what we're looking for anyway. Check it out, it's already looking like a pizza already. Can you believe this? All right, make sure you got a towel or all that good stuff. All right, now if you have a broiler, most ovens have it at the bottom of the drawer of the oven. You slide that, bo that bad boy out, pop it in there, and let it char on top. But my oven's a little different, I have one on the bottom and the top, so I have my oven set for broiler mode. You know. <laughs> just like that. And I'm gonna let it sit about two minutes, all right? Let's check in about two minutes. It might need less. It's at 550 degrees, all right? I'll show you the minute. Oh. Y'all, it smells so freaking good. You don't even know. Alright, so next I'm gonna top my little basil, the shipping style. You're gonna take the leaves, stack them up as closely as possible, just like that, and you're gonna roll them. And you're gonna slice them. And you're gonna release that nice essence, that freshness. Oh. Go, just like that. I'm actually gonna plate this really quick. Little baby out of here. All right, we're going to sprinkle this nice base around on top. Uh, it's going everywhere. <laughs> you get the idea, man. Just like that. All right, guys. There we are. So this is called chicken margarita. A spin off of pizza, because we're not doing any carbs in there. We're doing all proteins, like I said. Great for post-workout, great lunch. Under 15 minutes, well, well, well under $15, all right? Once again, this is Tune In with Chef Mo. I want to hear your feedback in your comments. Tune back in, guys. All right.